I personally think Victorian corset is the easiest corset you can make among others and the beauty of it is the fact that you can place the dart anywhere you choose depending on what Today's you want. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can go about with the drafting of the pattern as shown in the thumbnail. I'm going to be drafting exactly what we have on the thumbnail and if this sounds like something you're interested in then keep watching. So the first thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be to be drawing out our top line at the edge of the paper this is the where we are going to be starting all our measurement from so you're going to take your measuring tape and you're going to measure from your shoulder down to your bust and whatever you get that will be your bust line measurement so after marking the bust line you're going to go up by two inches this is a standard measurement for all body sizes so when you get your bust measurement just go up by two inches and that will be the chest line measurement and then from here i'm going to be marking half of my shoulder measurements so i'm using seven inches and then i'll mark the same seven inches on the chest line and then when i'm done with that the next thing i'm doing now is to just connect these points together so after that i'm going to be marking my neck weight measurements so from here i'll go down by one inch and i'll connect the neck weight measurement down to that one one inch point and this will be the shoulder line for this dress and then here i'm going to be dividing it by two and i'll go in by 0 0.5 inches and then from here i'll just use a french curve and connect it all the way to the chest line like so so this will be the armhole for this top so after that i'm going to be going in by two inches this will be where i want my neckline for this victorian corset to be you can use exactly what you have on the chest line as your neckline or you can go up by one inch or more depending on what you want so i'm going up by two inches and i'll connect it all the way to the armhole so from the top line i'm going to be marking my under bust measurements and then i'll mark my waistline measurements and also my hip line measurements the length of the paper is exactly my hip line measurement so i'm just going to be using it there and then from here i'm just going to connect i'll be connecting the lines like so so after drawing out the line i'm just going to label it as shown the underboss the waistline and the hip line measurement so from the boss line i'm going to be marking half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is also known as the boss span measurement i'll mark it all the way down to the hip line and i will draw a straight line so after drawing the straight line on the shoulder line that we drew out earlier i'm going to be dividing it by two whatever i get i'm just going to mark it there and i'll connect it i'll connect it all the way down to the bust line so the next thing we are going to be doing is to mark out the dart for this victorian corset so the first first dart i'll be using is 0 0.75 inch on both sides that means if you join all of them together, 0 0.5 inch plus 0 0.5 inch, I'm using a dart of 1.5 inches. You can use 1 inches on both sides, depending on your body size. If you're a plus size, I would advise you go for 1 inch on both sides. Then I'll also do the same thing on the underboss line, and I'll connect it drawing a straight line. From here also, I'm going to connect it all the way down to the hip line then after this the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be going down by one inch from the boss line and i'll use my french curve the part of it that is not that curvy and i'll connect it all the way down to the on the boss line like so so when you're done with that the next thing to do now is on the chest line where that shoulder that is I'm going to be marking the same 0.75 inch on both sides just like we did 
for the underbust and the waistline and I'll use the French curve to connect it. That means the, the dart that we have on the neckline is also 1.5 inches, just like we have for the underbust and the waistline. If you're using one inch on the waistline, that means you're using one inch on the underbust and one inch on the neckline. So now I'm going to be dividing my bust measurement by four. I'll mark it there, whatever I get, I'll mark it there. And then I'll also replace the darts, the 1.5 inch dart that we marked on the neckline. So I'll just mark 1.5 inch on that point. So when you're done with this, the next thing to do now is you are going to minus two inches away from your waistline measurements. I just want that waistline to be a little bit snatched at that point. That's why I'm minusing two inches away from it. So my waistline is 26. I'm minusing two inches. That is 24. So I'm going to divide 24 inches by four which is um, six inches. So I'm marking six inches there. I'll also go ahead to replace the dart that is on that point, which is 1.5 inches. I'll mark it. And I'll also add another 1.5 inches to the dart that I'll be adding later on. So I want to add extra 1.5 inches to it. That means I'll just mark everything on that point And by the time I'm done, I will just connect it all the way to the chest line. So now the 1.5 inches extra that I added, I'm going to be marking half an inch from the center front on the waistline and I'll connect it all the way to the neckline here. I'll also connect it down to the hip line measurement like so. That means from that 1.5 inches, I've removed half an, half inches from it to mark the dots on the center front that is where i want the darts to be like i said victorian corset you can place the darts anywhere you want so the next dart that i want to impute i want to divide from the waistline all the way to the dart i want to divide these points by two and then whatever i get that is where i'll be placing my third dart so after dividing it by two i'm just going to be marking 0 0.5 inches on both sides that means together the dart is one inches for the second for the third dart placements. I'm using one inches. So after that, I'll just connect it all the way down. Remember, I said Victorian corset, you can place the dart anywhere you choose. Right now, I'm trying to replicate exactly what I have on the thumbnail. That's why I chose these points as where I want the dart to be. If you don't want the dart to be at that point, you can place it any other place. The most important thing is that you maintain the dart on the boss line. For every other dart, you can place it anywhere you want. From here, I'm still going to connect the dart down to the hip line. So when you're done connecting, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to divide our hip line measure our hip by four and then we'll mark it there and now you use a straight rule to connect it all the way down like so so when you're done with this this is basically it you are done with the drafting of the front pattern of victorian corset all you have to do now is to just label the points that we have here one to three so um, right now, what I want to do is to sew a top instead of using it to sew a jumpsuit. So I'm going to sew a top and it draws us separately. So that's why I'm cutting it um, four inches below the waistline. You can cut it directly on the waistline if you want to use it to sew a jumpsuit. Also, from this point, you can use it as the sleeve if you want to add a sleeve to it like this. That is, if you don't want it to be off shoulder, you want to add, it, add a sleeve, you can use that as the sleeve, as shown in the picture. Now we are just going to be cutting it off like so. Just pay attention to how I'm cutting it. I'm removing the dart from it, and this is what it should look like by the time you're done. If you want to add the sleeve, you're going to use that as the sleeve. Now we are going to be drafting for the back. At this point, I've gone ahead to mark out my chest line, my waistline, and my hip line. 
so after that i'm just going to be marking half of my shoulder measurements on the top line all the way down to the chest line and then from here i go down by one inch and then on this point i mark three inches which is a standard neck width measurement and then i'll connect drawing the shoulder for this top and then from the shoulder i'm going to be dividing it by two and i'll mark quarter of my bust measurement on the chest line and i'll just connect it using a french curve like so from here i'm going to be going up by two inches just the way we did for the front i'm going to be going up by two inches which will be the neckline for this top and then from this point the next thing we are going to do is we are going to be marking half of our nipple to nipple measurements on the chest line on the bust line on the chest line the waistline and on the hip line and then i'll connect it all the way down the next thing to do now is we are going to be determining the darts that we want to use for this so i'm using 0 0.5 inch on both sides that is i'm using one inch dart while for the chest line i'm going in by 0 0.25 inch on both sides i just want to tighten up that just chest line point a little bit so you're going to connect it like so and then you connect it all the way down to the hip line as well So at the end of the day, I've used one inch. I'm using one inch that. And then after that, we are going to be marking quarter of our waist measurements. And then you add back that one inch that that we added. And then I'm also going to add extra half an inch to it because I want to still add extra half an inch that. Now I'm going to divide it by two. This point by two and then the whatever i get i'm going to be marking 0 0.25 inch on both sides like this i'm also going ahead to extend the dart on that point all the way to the neckline so from that point that we divided by two i'm going to mark it all the way up to the neckline like so you that means i added 0 0.25 inch on both sides to get half an inch dart in total so I also, I'm also going to mark it all the way down to the hip line. And so that will be that. And then on the hip line, I'm going to mark quarter of my hip measurements and I'll connect it all the way down to the waistline. At this point also, I'm going to be replacing the dart that is on the neckline as the chest line points this is optional you can leave it as it is especially if you want it to be snatched at the back and then now i'm just going to level one to three and the next thing i'm going to do is to go in by one inch for i'm i'm using a loop for this victorian corsets if you're using a zipper that means you are going to be adding one inch to it but since it's a loop i'm removing one inch you can remove 1.5 inch depends all the de it all depends on how wide you want the opening to be and then i'm also going down by four inch just just like i did in front i'm repeating the same thing at the back and all we have to do now is to cut it off From here, we are just going to place our pattern on the fabric and we cut. I have added half an inch sewing allowance to the points I am pointing right now. And then for the armhole, I did not add any sewing allowance. And also for the hemline as well. And then for the pattern 3, instead of half an inch, I added 1 inch sewing allowance to this. So in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go about with the sewing of these Victorian corsets. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please like this video and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.